Just give me a moment. Um, I, I just want to say a few words. Uh, everybody that's up here on this board, and including the town clerk, as elected officials, at, at some point in our lives, we decided that we want, we thought we could help and, and do better for the town, and took a chance and tried running for public office, which didn't seem like a lot at the time. <laughs> and Pete's like, <laughs> we started together back then. But uh, I started here in 2006 as a councilman. Came in as 2010 as a supervisor, and I've been here 12 years as a supervisor. And I, I just want to say that everybody runs for a reason because they feel they can do right for the town. And don't chagrin them that motivation. Whether you agree or disagree with their politics is up to you, and that's why you have the choice of election. Um, but nobody can hear one you. of the things I, I pride myself on in being supervisor is trying to bring the town together and and say it doesn't matter Republican, Democrat, it's about the town. Uh, anybody that has served on a board with me knows that I've only asked you vote your conscience. You vote your conscience, you can never be wrong. With that, know that caucuses will be occurring in July of this year. Parties are looking for candidates. Election is coming this year for your local elections. If you are interested, there is no crime in raising your head or or asking questions and looking to run. We need people, and I'm saying this for all the parties, for everybody in the town. Like, it is hard to get people to run for office. It's hard to get people to fill offices within the town. But there is a very rewarding aspect to it, that when you do something that you wanted to accomplish, or something for that one somebody that made them happy, that's what it's worth. And I think I've done a fair job over 16 years of being here, and I'm just going to make the announcement that I am not going to seek a seventh consecutive term as town supervisor. And it's not for any other reason than my heart really, I, I'm, I'm tired. Um, it's been a long time, and, and sometimes it's been a battle. I've enjoyed it. And I, I do get a rush. There are positives. There's so many positives and things I look around town and I'm so proud that this town worked together on and got done and accomplished. And just quite honestly, excuse me, FCC, the, the crap we've been through in my term alone with Irene, snowstorms, windstorms, everything. And what we've done to try to recover from all that, I've been in people's homes when they lost everything. It, it, it takes its toll. And it's time for me to turn the page and I'm ready for a new chapter. So with that, I just want to say thank you all for, for supporting me over the years. And um, good luck to anybody that's running this year. I wish you the best of luck. It's a great town, it really is. And you guys just gotta get out and vote. Vote your conscience. That's all I ask. So God bless you all. Thank you. Um, with that, I'd like to adjourn the meeting in memory of uh, Bob Ailey and Hannah Sleep. I make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Can we talk about this Airbnb thing? Uh, just a joke. <laughs> no, I was just saying that we can probably just send it over email. Yeah. Email? Yeah. So send any comments that I can 